Uh, this is me at my cottage on PEI. Um, this is me in my high school musical. <laughs> the musical was Seussical, based on the stories of Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I left PEI when I was 17 to go and study and connect to kind of a larger arts and culture scene. I remember feeling like really envious of my friends who were from places like Toronto or Montreal or bigger cities. When my undergrad degree was over and they all were like, oh yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go back home and, and work in Toronto and, and I was sort of down on PEI because I was just like, well, I can't just go back and do theater because uh, the kind of theater that I want to make doesn't exist there. And then I think I eventually had an attitude shift where I was like, well, if it doesn't exist there, I'm just going to make it. Creating things like the March of the Crows and the Fringe Festival and the pageant uh, and seeing how they've been able to kind of take on a life of their own and grow has been hugely inspiring. I think a theme that runs through the works I have done or the projects I've started is it's about an invitation. Into the night we fly! Disperse! Disperse! The Crow Parade began in 2011, and this was actually the first, the first project that I went back to PEI to do. That was my first taste of the nature of that sort of community collaboration. After the Crow Parade, I started the Island Fringe Festival with Sarah Siegel Lazar in 2012, and PEI didn't have a Fringe Festival. Our mandate was to be, to be site-specific, and so we wanted to show people that theater didn't have to happen on you know, a, a huge stage and the ticket price didn't have to be $50. It could be something that you could sort of stumble upon in a local park. The first year of the pageant just blew my mind in terms of who was out there because we would have people who would would approach us and say, oh, I'm a costume designer and I live 10 minutes away from New Glasgow and I'm self-taught. Or, you know, having, having Marty Hopson, who's our musical director, approach us and, you know, she's a local farmer and a veterinarian, but she also has a master's in music. So there were just all of these people who sort of totally brought in my conception or perception of what the art scene actually was, like realizing that it was so much bigger than just those people who kind of say, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional artist. While laying out beneath the naked stars was I It's, it's just funny to kind of observe that like radical shift in thought from when I was like 19 to, you know, 10 years later when I sort of wouldn't have it any other way to be from anywhere else. Like it's, it's so important to me to be from here and to be able to contribute to the artistic scene here.